What do you mean you cannot predict now? Come on, eight ball. <laughs> I may revive. Hey, Dave, how you doing today? Davey, what are you wearing? <laughs> you like the new look? Yeah, I read that new production machining article on being comfortable makes you safe. I'm extra safe today. You read what in production machining? I seriously think you missed the point of that article. What do you mean you don't think I got the point? Hey, Dave, we're going to have some hot dogs here in just a little while. Davey, what are you doing? You're going to catch the whole plant on fire. You're not supposed to barbecue in the quality lab. What do you mean it ain't fire safe? Come on, man. So I'm being comfortable today. It's making me more safe. Ah, I'm just gonna sit here while my dogs cook. Even got my Captain America socks and flip-flops on today, Dave. Like I said, I'm extra safe. Davey, I think you're just a little bit too comfortable. Hey, everybody. Hey, little engineer. Not you too, little engineer. What is going on around here? And man, I'm just trying to be more safe. It's all about being comfortable. Hey, you got some hot dogs ready yet? I'm hungry. No, I don't quite have that hot dogs ready yet. I'm still working on them. Guys, let me explain that article to you. Hey, I just need to spread the word about being safe and comfortable. Guys, you're missing the whole point of that article. You need to be comfortable to be safe, but you're being way too comfortable. You can't just go strolling around in flip-flops and pool floaties. That's not safe at all. What that article's talking about is being safe while wearing your proper PPE, but being comfortable with that PPE. You gotta have proper fitting PPE, something that you're gonna wear. For instance, your safety glasses. You need to have the right type of safety glasses for the application. You need to have safety glasses that fit you comfortably and that you can see well through. That way you will wear them. If you have safety glasses that are fogging up or not fitting appropriately, then you're going to be setting them on top of your hat brim and you're not going to wear them like you're supposed to. And it's going to make you inherently less safe. Hence, you need to be comfortable in the pair of safety glasses you're wearing in order to wear them all the time and be inherently safe. Not, not wear safety glasses at all because that's what makes you comfortable. And like your shirts, you need to wear proper shirts to work. Like if you're doing grinding or you're around flames or something, don't wear polyester or, or synthetic fabrics. You need to wear cotton fabrics that are safe around sparks and heat. You need to wear things in the summer that are good fitting but will cool your skin. And uh, things that are like moisture wicking fabric that are natural, cotton and wool and those types of things. And in the winter you need to dress warm so that you're comfortable and you can think about your work and be safe, but not be have overly baggy clothes like flannel shirts that have sleeves that hang long. Those are really dangerous around spinning equipment. And so you've got to think those things through. You need to have pants that are long and fit appropriately and adequately cover your knees and the times that you need to be on the ground, maybe changing gears on a screw machine or need to be raking out a chip pan or doing those types of things. You need something that's gonna pad that knee and protect it from cuts. We have lots of sharp objects on the floor. Even when the floors are really clean, there's little pieces of chips and brass fibers and things on the floor. And that, that can get into your uh, skin and get you infected with nasty splinters. Uh, the last thing is you really need to have appropriate footwear. Flip-flops are not appropriate footwear. You gotta have good fitting, good quality boots, preferably with steel toes. It depends on what you're working on and the type of environment you're working in, but I always prefer steel toes because they're just safer in a shop because we carry a lot of heavy things around and there's a lot of opportunities for heavy objects to fall on your feet. And you need to have non-slip shoes, non-slip boots. No matter how clean we keep the floor, there's always going to be the chance that you step through a puddle of oil or something like that on the floor, or even a fine mist that's coming out of a chip hopper or something like that that could be really slippery. That's what we're talking about being comfortable. If you wear shoes that hurt your feet, you're not thinking about your job. If you wear shoes that are dangerous for your feet, 
You're not thinking about your job. You need to wear a good fitting boot that's not going to give you blisters. It's not overly heavy for your size. If you're 100 pounds, you don't need to wear a 10 pound boot. It's those types of things that we're talking about when we say comfortability, not that you just show up in a Hawaiian shirt and barbecue in the quality lab. What are you thinking? I gotta go get boss, man. This is crazy. Hey, Davey, I got you some more hot dogs. You got them other dogs ready yet? Hey, boss man, yeah, I almost got them dogs ready. Hey, boss, oh my, not you too. What is going on around here? I don't understand any of this. Are all of you missing the point? Am I living in the twilight zone? What's bothering Dave? I'm not real sure, boss, man. I don't think he's digging this comfortability thing. Dave, Dave, wake up. Uh, what's going on? We finally got that rush drive out. It's past midnight. It's time to go home. It's after midnight? Yeah, you've been sleeping here for a while. Oh, man, we need to get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's time to go home.